The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. St. Charles Seminary annual appeal officially begins this weekend. Our parishioners should have received a direct mailing from the seminary in September. A second appeal letter is expected at this time. In the seminary's first mailing, there was a brochure containing testimonials from Archbishop Nelson Perez and Father Keith Chalinski, the rector of the seminary. The brochure also reflects other testimonials and it highlights the education and formation taking place at our seminary. The theme for this year's appeal is for today, for tomorrow, for all of us. The goal for this year is $3.5 million. Attaining this goal will allow the seminary to continue its necessary work in preparing priests, deacons, religious, and laity for service to our parishes and other Catholic organizations. The annual appeal is to assist in meeting the operating costs for the seminary, and it is not for the anticipated move to the seminary's new home in Gwinnett Valley, Pennsylvania in 2024. Writing to the people of the Archdiocese, Archbishop Perez and Bishop Senior wrote, our aspiring servant leaders would not be able to fill God's will to serve if it weren't for the faithful supporters like you. Your kindness energizes our seminarians and students in their ongoing studies and discernment. Your contribution to St. Charles Seminary is a faithful investment in the future of our church. After all, they hope to serve you as stewards of God. Our seminary, serving the Archdiocese and beyond, has four divisions, the College Seminary, the Theological Seminary, the School of Diaconal Formation, and the School of Theological Studies. Having received my theological training and formation at St. Charles Seminary from 1975 to 1980, and fully recognizing all the good being accomplished for the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, as well as the Universal Church. I respectfully ask for your prayers and financial support of our seminary. Here at St. Francis Cabrini, we were especially blessed three years ago with the presence of Deacon Caleb Heil, now Father Heil. Then two years ago, with the presence of Deacon Tyler Sparrow, now Father Sparrow, and this past year with the presence of Deacon Dominic Winter, now Father Winter. As a parish community, we were very pleased to be participating in the priestly formation of these deacons. Hopefully next year, we will be blessed with another deacon from the seminary. Beginning this weekend and continuing for the next three weekends in the parish bulletin, we will be providing a special insert which will reflect the personal testimonies of a newly ordained priest, a transitional deacon, a candidate for the permanent diaconate, and a lay woman who is studying in the School of Theological Studies. Our parishioners are welcome to see the appeal video which can be accessed by visiting our parish website. Also, for more information regarding the appeal and online giving, please visit the seminary's website. St. Charles Seminary was very pleased and very grateful that last year our parishioners donated over $15,000, an amount which exceeded the previous year's contributions. On behalf of the seminary and the Archdiocese, I thank you. This is a direct solicitation. There will not be a second collection. Rather, contributions can be sent directly to St. Charles Seminary. And so I thank everyone for their continuing support of our seminary. Finally, once again, we invite you to come to our parish mission, which will take place on November 13th, 14th, and 15th. That is 
on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday evenings at 7 o'clock. By popular demand, we will be very pleased to welcome back Father Tom McCarthy. The theme for this year's parish mission is Treasures of Our Faith, the Seven Sacraments. During our Monday evening gathering, we will have eight priests here to assist us with the celebration of the Sacrament of Reconciliation. All are encouraged to come and be refreshed in our understanding and our appreciation of God's seven special gifts to our church. And so let us pray. Father in heaven, as we participate in the seminary's annual appeal, in the hope that the appeal will be successful, we ask your blessing upon all the seminarians as they continue in their discernment of your gracious will for them. Bless the men who are in formation for the permanent diaconate and bless the lay men and women who are pursuing their theological studies so as to enhance their gifts as they serve the church. We also ask your blessing on our parish mission. May everything we do be for your honor and your glory. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.